Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good morning, Utah. Time is currently 543. If you look out there this morning, you might notice the moon because it is quite bright. It is a super and it's a super, I wouldn't say blood moon. It's a full super moon, blue moon. That's the word I was looking for. Words are hard sometimes, but this was sent in by Jerry Dolphinus down in St. George early yesterday evening once the sun went down with the moon rise above the red rock right there. I mean, honestly, it does not get much better than that. An absolutely beautiful view last night. Then Chris Williams got up close, a zoomed in view of the super blue moon. This was sent in from Guardsman's Pass by Chris Williams. Absolutely stunning right there. And then Scott Taylor of the moon rise right behind the Wasatch. So thank you to everyone that sent in your photos. I'm going to try to share those on social media as we go throughout the morning as well. Here's what it currently looks like. The view from the Heber Airport and the Wasatch back looking towards the silhouette of Mount Timpanogos. We'll just wait for that moon to set behind Timpanogos. That should be a really cool view within the next hour or so. Then as we make our way down to St. George currently, it's a little bit bright out there, but you'll notice that down in St. George, there's a little bit of cloud coverage around this morning. We're going to be introducing a southerly flow as we go through today and monsoonal moisture. It's only a matter of time before it starts to make its way back into the Beehive State. In the meantime, temperatures are just downright comfortable out there. It's still a little bit hazy up in northern Utah, but thanks to that southerly flow by this afternoon, we'll transition to mostly sunny skies, not looking nearly as hazy once we get into the middle of portion of the day. Then by this afternoon, we'll even start to see increasing clouds up north. That southerly wind will lead to warmer temperatures this afternoon, but as mentioned, we're also going to be talking about monsoonal moisture increasing high pressure sliding away away to the east, allowing more of that southerly flow. So the best chance of wet weather today looks like it's going to be east of I-15 in the southern half of the state. And then by tomorrow, we'll be looking at a decent chance of wet weather statewide. Most of the Beehive State today included within a general thunderstorm risk, but through the daytime hours, most of what we'll see will be along and south of I-70 and then by tonight. We could start to see a few body showers and thunderstorms in the northern half of the state. As mentioned, with that southerly flow of wind, our daytime highs in northern Utah will be a little bit warmer. We'll mainly see 80s and 90s today as we get to 88 degrees in Logan, 94 degrees in Salt Lake and in Provo. Down south, thanks to that little bit of extra cloud coverage, our daytime highs today won't be quite as warm compared to what we saw yesterday, but still on the toasty side of things. Let's go ahead and begin the future cast. Four o'clock this afternoon, future cast showing a few spotty showers and thunderstorms over near the San Rafael Swell and over towards Castle Country as we get into this afternoon, and then also a few spotty showers in south central Utah. Then that chance of wet weather only increases as we go into this evening, especially in the southern half of the state. Then notice what happens as we go into tonight. A chance of wet weather even increases in northern Utah. And by five o'clock tomorrow morning, we could see showers and thunderstorms thunderstorms even along the Wasatch front, which means it could be a little bit of a soggy start to our Friday morning and then tomorrow afternoon with deep monsoon moisture in place, scattered showers and thunderstorms possible statewide. So the chance of wet weather will be increasing and as that wet weather potential increases, so does the risk of flash flooding down in southern Utah, where today flash flooding is a possibility at places like Bryce, the Capitol Reef and down towards the Grand Staircase. And by tomorrow, it looks like for most spots across the Mighty Five in our southern Utah recreation areas, the flash flooding risk will go to probable. If you've been wanting to do a backcountry hike and you're already down there, you probably want to do it today because that risk will only be increasing as we get into the next couple of days. But still, even if you're heading down to southern Utah, you want to make sure that you stay weather aware today. In St. George, isolated PM thunderstorm is possible later on today. We'll spend most of the day under partly cloudy skies. Then a good chance for showers and thunderstorms Friday, Saturday, Sunday, holding on to at least a slight chance through Labor Day on Monday. Look at those daytime highs. We go from 102 today to the upper 80s tomorrow in St. George, then mid 80s as we go through the back half of the Labor Day weekend. Along the Wasatch Front, that slight chance late is mainly for after sundown into the overnight hours, then scattered showers and thunderstorms Friday, isolated on Saturday, back to scattered for both Sunday and Monday as highs go from the mid-80s tomorrow to potentially the low and mid-70s by Labor Day on Monday. Looks like we'll trend drier and a little bit more seasonal towards the middle of next week.